no, she's... She... Tango, you, they thought you were me. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and some lovely looking people here tonight. Uh, at that third row, it's like God's waiting room. Uh, I have to wear my income tax because it won't you. Like, once you hit 40, that's it. The real life say goes. Mine went two weeks ago. <laughs> I was born in the leap year. But listen, put the, put the camera down, son. Do you work for the brew? <laughs> People here doing the double. <laughs> you won't see the ones behind me. Only yours. Right, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. My, my, my son lives up money more and he's a burglar. <laughs> now, <laughs> You enjoying yourself, sir? Okay, do you want to send a wee message to your face? <laughs> now, I'll just, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> All them drawers of mine. Look at him, he's starting to sweat. <laughs> no, it's, it's a pleasure being here that the, the young farmers and I think it's, they were all up at Bally Money School at the, the Heats World, wasn't that right? Yeah. Uh, and they, these five have got through, or seven, as many as their five, and they've, they've all got through to the final. And I'm sure, I'm sure you're all delighted and you're cheering for your own people. And I've yet to meet um, Ida, I-T-A, 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 where are you, Ida? Put your hand up, where's here? Oh, you're up there, up in the cheap seats. <laughs> and, and we, we were looking for you earlier on, and I said, what, what's, what's ITA's ETA? <laughs> <laughs> Estimated time for arrival. <laughs> but anyway, it's lovely to see you, and, and Nicole, she works in the Grand Opera House. It's a pity I'm not doing something here. I think I'd have won it. <laughs> now, oh, I can't, there was a wee message, but we'll do that later on. There's a, 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 a future Mr. and Mrs. Hogg. Where, put your hands up, where are you? Lights on again. Oh, they're behind me. Oh, they're in there. Oh, for dear. Can't be happy on your legs, love. <laughs> they get, oh, lovely. Hur, come on, hurry up. Hurry up. What kept you? It wasn't the hairdressers. Look at you. This <laughs> is she said, look at the third one. She's like a 14 stone turkey. Come on! <laughs> Where are you from? Where? Cookstown. But did you walk it? <laughs> are you married, love? Yes, I am. Seriously. <laughs> Many children have you. How many children have you? Four and a half. Oh, two then. <laughs> <laughs> I remember doing a gig in, in Cookstown and they couldn't count when they were paying you. <laughs> I know you. Huh? Big Bobby fell behind that. Is that your grandfather? <laughs> hey? Anyway, it's a pleasure, bit. It, it's a, oh, they're turning that off. That means my, my cue to get off. No. I'll be coming out every now and again in between the shows, and I know you're going to give them all, no matter who you're here for, you're going to give them the best of the night. And if these three come in, or these two here come in, tell them to wait at the back or I'll execute them. <laughs> right? But it's lovely to have you all here and cheer on your legs. And you're not allowed to drink in the theatre. <laughs> what is it? What are you drinking? Coke. Coke? Lar. <laughs> Look at your nose, you're a liar, you're a drinker. Anyway. <laughs> now, what we're going to do here, first of all, money more young farmers. <laughs> money more young farmers are delighted to be taking part in the Arts Festival this year. The club have a long history of award-winning shows, and following a break of nine years, we're excited to take to the stage during the heats in February. With 19 out of the 24 cast members performing, 
an arts festival show for the first time, they are thrilled to be performing here at this gala this evening. Tonight the club are joined by many talented musicians with Larissa Ray on drums, Harry Ray on bass guitar, Gavin Ray, many Rays is that? <laughs> More Rays on the stage than the one that sunshine all day. <laughs> Gavin Ray and Andrew Hall on guitar, Judith Campbell on violin, and Rosanna Hunter on piano. This year's producers, Catherine Brooks, Rosanna Hunter, Jack Hunter, and Sarah Mays, ask that you sit back, relax, and enjoy the production the successful candidates. So, Kaya, people, thank you, love. in the wrong place. Siri, can you let me know when Frederick, the candidate elder, arrives? I am Frederick. You see, my mother made me put my full name in the job application, but you can call me Freddy. Nice to meet you. It really is a pleasure. Anyway, I'm Kate, the business director here at Woolly Wonders. Now, in first impressions, I don't think you're the suitable candidate for the job. The rest of my current employees will have to take on all the extra responsibilities. <gasps> Come on, give me a chance. Well, you 
see, I grew up on a wee farm, just up there outside my moor. And my ma and father always thought I'd grow up to be a farmer. You know, following their footsteps, milking those dirty old cows. But sir, it doesn't pay. And when I saw this job was going to offer me more than double my monthly milk check, I simply have to apply. Mind you, the old boy isn't too happy about it. <laughs> Moving swiftly on, Willie Wonders is committed to excellence in the manufacture of the finest quality wool to be exported all around the world. I therefore need someone who is hardworking and reliable to support me in the office. Do you have any experience of even working in a fast-paced environment? Hey, what shall I tell you? Last spring, see the golden heifers broke out, and I had a few deal of cows with. No up to everything money more it took to. I had a run at them. <laughs> for about three miles. I can tell you, that was fast paced. Right, I have heard enough. Well, Freddy, how did it go? I think it went powerful well. Good, did you ever hear such nonsense? From what I heard, it didn't sound that bad. Looking at his application, he does have some of the personal qualities you're looking for. Yes, well, he certainly can talk the talk anyway. But surely an extra pair of hands would be good. You know, with this big order coming in. That's right, the big order. And you know, there was something about Freddy that kind of intrigued me. Freddy, I'll give you a chance. You're hired. Yeah! All right, love. Crystal, human resources. Come on, you on over here with me. Take a wee seat at my desk. We're just going to go through your week contract. It'll not take too long. <laughs> Firstly, your working hours are nine to five. Ah, I didn't realize this was only a part-time position. I'm used to working non-stop around the clock. Right. Well, the next wee boy for here is regarding annual leave. That's my favorite time of the year. I get away off to Benidorm for a week with the girls. Unfortunately, yours is only 25 days. 25 days? That's pure class. I normally only get 12 more than us. for the 10 o'clock tea. Here's your dairy free. Dairy free? That's no good for us farmers. The dairy free caramel macchiato. Oh! 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 The computer! Oh! Oh! It destroyed my computer. Quick, someone get Roger. Who's Roger? I'm Roger. Oh. IT was kid. I know all about computers. Well, go on then and fix it. Hmm. Well, from my observations, there appears to be a significant 
significant water damage. Oh. Oh. Now, there are a few options we have there, how we can fix this. Tail on. Is it plugged in? Yes! Did you try to turn it off and on again? Yes! Not to worry, the final option usually proves the most effective. Oh. Oh. Wait, wait, wait! Leave that to me. If I can program this robotic milker too, I can turn my hand to Adam. here from oh, Money More Craft Supplies. It says here that their delivery of wool has to be delivered by close of business today, not next week. Let me have a look at that. We're not going to have enough raw wool to get it processed in time. Here, get Leave it to me. Oh. Hello? Well, boys, are you still up the road tapping the empty? <laughs> oh, no, you are down at Stuart Mills is taking tea. <laughs> I would nearly have known. Right, well, hurry up there and bring a couple of sheep down to Woolly Wonders here. And now don't be in a hurry away, for there's a fair bit of talent about here.
has just one big choice to make to stay here or return back home he knows whatever he'll decide she'll be here So now, would you like to come to the port with me while you're on a Sunday night? <laughs> Tongan. Do you remember the plaza? Belfast. I'd say you did. I'd say you were a poor doctor in your day. Well, I met Cruncher Armstrong. I looked across the room, love at first sight. And we, we went together then. And by St. Valentine's Day and the next year, we were married. It was a word, but leave me on about it. It was a word when romance. I loved the bones of them. Am I keeping you up, son? <laughs> In your sleep there, are you? You're normally out stepping glue. Anyway. <laughs> I'm 
was tearing off half of a shotgun arrow. <laughs> and uh, uh, he married me, and then two months later, he, he left me. Aww. For a wee young thing from Liverpool. <laughs> she was 50 years <laughs> But he stayed with me long enough to constipate the marriage. <laughs> That's why I have my willy. Have you ever seen my willy, love? My willy lives in the glens of Gormley. And he's, he loves it. And he's got two of the loveliest sweet children, but her I do not like. The wife. She doesn't like me. I don't like her. No love lost. Bitch. Anyway. <laughs> Two of the loveliest wee children, they're seven each, twins. Hi, one seven, and the other seven as well. <laughs> and I love the bones of them. And I said to Big Patricia, Big Patricia is a friend of mine. She's a big girl now. Maybe wouldn't be as big as you, but she's a big girl. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I said to Big Patricia, I don't know what to get the kids for their birthday. She says, May, listen, she said, they'll be starting school, their birthday was in July. I says, they'll be starting school two a month later, get them a pair of shoes each. I says, that's the very thing. And I says to Patricia, where's the best place to get children's shoes cheap? She says, a bouncy castle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love it. No, I love Big Trish and I dearly love her. I love the bones of her. She has 13, she has 13 children. Ah, Catholic. And <laughs> some family allowance to her. What? Some, some money to earn in every month. But dear love her. And I, I, I'm very lucky to be here because I'm sure you can hear my voice. It's a wee bit croaky. What are you talking about, love? I go down and I slap the baby in <laughs> Now, but lucky you've been hit before. <laughs> it's been hit more times than the Europa Hotel. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> no, my old chest spot, I've been out complaining from my chest, you know, my population is in my chest and all those. And I, I went down to my doctor, it was hard, and I'd seen it. Now, this is, I'm talking about five, four or five years ago, and it's still here, long before COVID. Remember the old, it was a nightmare, wasn't it? Might keep me up. I was, it was before COVID, and I was able to, to see a doctor, not even, you have to get on the phone, though. it's a nightmare, isn't it? So I went down to my doctor, and I went down to the, to the waiting room, this wee woman says, hello, Miss McFatridge. I hope you're not in a hurry. I've been sitting here for two hours, my backside, so I have to sleep. <laughs> wee fellow beside her says, I know I heard it snoring twice. <laughs> Who do you hear? And I mean, she says, now that you going to see the doctor? I said, no, I'm just getting sausages here. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's happening next. Anyway. <laughs> I always knew Dave was a cowboy outfit. Anyway. <laughs> she said, there's a locum on. I says, I don't care where he's from. I'm, I'm not racist or nothing like that. And I went down to this big fella. Girls know who he was the image of? Denzel Washington. <laughs> My legs went from underneath me. I'd have been all over him like Sarasas. I'm not joking. <laughs> he was drop dead gorgeous. Here he is to me. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Some ballerina. I said. <laughs> <laughs> Up with the carry out, look. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dickhead. Anyway. <laughs> Who he knows? <laughs> I did the first time. Anyway, I was in, he, I, he, I was sending him about my chair, so he took out his kaleidoscope. And he started to say me, he says, Man, you're in a chest bad. What do you need for that? It's a rub. I says, Happy days. I says, he says, No, not that type of rub. He gave me a wee description for the chemist. And he wrote it down. He said, Now I want you to go and get an X ray for your chest. So he gave me the, the, the description for the chemist. And he said, that There's a, a wee letter for the hospital. 
Well, I got my prescription. No, everything was grand. No, a couple of days later, I went down to the hospital. I was seeing the wee doctor. He was 14. <laughs> I'm not joking. I don't know if it's me getting old or we're all getting old, but between policemen and doctors, his wee lad, I don't think he'd, he'd just done his 11 plus. No. <laughs> And I said, son, are you waiting on a doctor too? He said, I am the doctor. <laughs> I got to slap them. And I said, right, well, get ready for your x-ray. So I stripped it off. He ran out of the hospital. He was like a ferret with Reeboks on. Gone! <laughs> Next thing, this fellow was brought into casualty. <laughs> I'm not sure, I don't know what happened, but it, it, whatever, whatever it was, I don't know, because I ran out too. And, and because I had to get home because my, my back was killing me, my chest was bad, and Big Patricia was supposed to lift me, well, not lift me, bring my bus pass down. <laughs> and he had gone. <laughs> that means I have to get out. But you're, I'll, I'll take up where I left off the next time I'm on. But before we go, I have to tell you who's on next. <laughs> You drop something? What are you looking for? Now they're all fabulous acts here, there's no doubt about it. But the next is Korean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, of Change is coming, set in rural America. Local residents are shocked by the increased number of raids by an unknown cowboy instilling fear in a number of different states. He continues to run free and cause havoc everywhere he goes. Will Alice be able to prove once and for all that her worth in the local community and help to catch the on the run cowboy? So let us take you back to 1890. 200 years before that. Anyway. <laughs> she Catholics must be out the front. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Change is Coming, produced by Janet McClelland, Danielle Black, Ruth Adams, and Chloe Miller. Pianist is cast member Chloe Miller, guitar played by cast member Stephanie Miller, and Scott Kennedy on drums. Welcome, Coleraine Young Farmers, Change is Coming.
volunteered me, sir. Get back to work. Oh, how could I forget? Good evening, Sheriff. How do you do? Well, Alice, I'd be happy to fire this man behind bars. He's robbed five saloons across two different states this past week. And you haven't caught him yet? Nah. I'm getting too old for this chasing bad guys game. It's about time there's a new sheriff in town. Pick me, pick me! I can be the new sheriff! No, pick me, pick me! I'm strong and brave, unlike Hank. <laughs> None of you pair of a sheriff for this town. It takes a special kind of person to take on the role of town sheriff. That's not fair. We never get to use our gun in these duress. Well, any wonder. Don't go stand over there.
Cause when the clock strikes midnight I'm gonna ride the lightning Feel the thunder Till the darkness pulls me under I'm gonna fly on the wings of fire Pray the good Lord lifts me higher Singing, oh, when they call me home Singing, oh, when they call me home I'm gonna ride was in the saloon where it happened the saloon where it happened the saloon where it happened no one else was in the saloon where it happened the saloon where it happened the saloon where it happened no one really knows how the game is played the art of the trade how the sausage gets made they just assume that it happens but no one else was in the saloon where it happened
arrested the most wanted man in the state. I think you finally earned that badge. <laughs> Alice, you showed me, you showed everybody. From now on, things will be done differently around here. I'm the new sheriff of my hometown. What you see is what you get. This is me. down to dust. I know that there's a place for us, for we are glorious. When the sharpest words want to cut me down, I'm going to stand up blood, I'm going to drown them out. I am brave, I am bruised, I am who I'm meant to be. This is me, look out, cause here I come. And I'm marching on to the beat I drum. Days, but your head hung low, your sky's a shade of gray, like a zombie in the maze. You're asleep inside, but you can't shake away. Cause you're just a dead man walking, thinking that's your only option. But you can't flip the switch and brighten up your darkest day. Sun is up and the colors blinding. Take a world and read it fine. Leave behind your narrow mind, you'll never be the same. Come alive, come alive, go and light your life. Let it burn so bright, reaching up to the sky. And it's open wide, you're electrified. And the world becomes a fantasy, and you're more than you could ever be. Just you're dreaming with your eyes wide open. You know you can't go back. You are living in, you're dreaming with your eyes wide open. So come light. And from now on, these eyes will not be blinded by the lights. From now on, what's waited till tomorrow starts tonight. It starts tonight. And let this promise in me start. Like an anthem in my heart From now on From now on From now on Home again Home Home, home. He's sweeping the mess up. He did, he did. <laughs> Listen, before we go any further, but before we go any further, seriously, we'd like to thank well, the Young Farmers Club of Ulster Arts Festival 2023. Just like to welcome you all here, and we'd also like to welcome and thank all our sponsors here tonight for their support and assistance over the years. I'd like to thank the sponsors this year, Chestnut Onion Feeds, and kindly sponsoring the VIP reception and refreshments during the interval. So everything you get out there, Chestnut Animal Feeds are going to drink it, pay for it. So we give them a big, big round of applause. 
Yeah. And it's great that so many clubs were up in Ballamone. If you're from Ballamone, you're a feel the tune. Yeah. See, I know Liam Beckett, and he's feel the tune. He always says to me when I was playing for a team in Dundalk, they signed him because he thought he was all right. They also thought he was a Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> when I am for a rude awakening. Anyway, it's a pleasure being here too, myself. It's, it's great being up here. What do you hear? I did, I did, is there somebody up there getting sick? Throwing somebody off. So. There's a wee hotel out, out by the Belfast Road. And it's, what's this it's called? If you're going out the way, it's on the right hand side. Um, it's about 10, 15 mile out. What's it called? It's a wee old fashioned hotel. Two gay fellas own it. Do you know it? Belfry. That's it, the Belfry. You were quick. Do you drink in there? <laughs> but I was doing three gigs in the Belfry long before they, they owned it. It was about 30 odd years ago. I was doing three Friday nights in a row. And each Friday night, I'd leave the Kelly show and drive up, do the gig and mouth. So the first day, first Friday night I was up, I said, oh, I could scrape it up here in Derry. So we said, London Derry. Second, <laughs> Protestant. Right. Oh, wait till the end, wait till the end, it's about finished. So the second week I said, scrape it up here in London Derry. Derry. So the third week, I said, scraping up here in the Maiden City, uh, make up your mind, say what you mean. <laughs> so you can't win. Anyway, if anybody's going to understand Derry Long, two, three, anyway. we you at the toilet, love? To bit of toilet roll down. <laughs> anyway. So, oh yes, I was in the hospital, right? And I says, how am I going to get out of the hospital? Know what I mean? I says, I'll ring my Willie. Because my Willie got a new car, one of them new ones with a Catholic converter and all on. I says, I says, I'll ring Willie. But um, so, but I forgot, he had been stopped for drunken driving. He was at a wedding in Carrick, Fergus. He was driving up a shore road and he saw the light. You've seen it, boys, haven't you? Yeah. Maybe if you hear using it. Anyway, it was the R-U-S-P, N-C, N-C-P, it's the Peelers. <laughs> Peace man pulled him in, he says, excuse me, sir, a reason to believe you've been drinking, your car's all over the road. He says, thank God, I thought the steering was away. <laughs> he says, have you been drinking? He says, definitely. <laughs> he says, many drinks have you had? Well, he says, I've had 10 pints of Guinness. And the policeman says, oh, is that all? He says, funny enough, to had four drum beauty and a half bottle of wine as well. He said, would you like to step out of the car and take a breathalyzer? He says, why do you not believe me? <laughs> Get out of the car and he says, blow into that. He says, what is it? He says, that's a wee bag that tells you but too much to drink. He says, I married one of them. <laughs> anyway. Thank you, Flipper. <laughs> I can't get my arse folded. <laughs> so you have one cheek bad and the other cheek's not great. And I don't see anybody get beat off the furniture you you get. Anyway, uh, so I, let's, I, North Belfast, I'm from. Normally when I say North Belfast, a duck. North Bell, but I'm in the posh end, you know what I mean? Very posh end. And, um, and I, I remember, there was a big Patricia, her man, right? Fond of a drink. A bit like the rest of us. Do you want to be somewhere else, son? Why don't you go across the road to Badgers? There's a free, oh, there's a free bar. You can bring your boyfriend with you. Well. <laughs> Well, then he's holding his knee and touching him and all, and you clamp it, you. Well, 
So where was I? What was I talking about? You weren't bloody listening, that's what's wrong. What was I talking about anyway? Ah, North Belfast. Ah, North Belfast. Ah. Oh no, don't somebody leave me home. I forgot where I lived. Anyway, it doesn't matter. North Belfast, ah, big Patricia's man, fond of an old gargle, you know. He's barred out of every bar in, the, in Belfast, on the, on the Antrim Road. No, and he can't go into the, you know, the, the off license, is barred. He's always full. My father's got a problem, you know what I mean? And he was walking up the Antrim Road, and you know if any of have driven up the Antrim Road, but just at the top of the Limestone Road, there's a house, sort of half collapsed. Half of it fell about. And he was a wee DIY shop next door, and he walked into the DIY shop, and he says, hey boy, uh, hey boy, give us two bottles of terps. Your mom knew, he says, Mon, sir, hey, Mon, that's it, Mon, you, you, you have a drink problem. He says, no, hey, uh, uh, I'm painting the house from top to bottom, and I need two bottles of terps. Your man says, I already, he goes over to the shelf, he says, you wouldn't have two out of the fridge. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> for our third tonight, we have Finvoy Young Men Farmers Club. <laughs> now, Finvoy is a club of around 45 members in the outskirts of all the money, be the two. The club... The club, that's the one they want to be off the stage. The club thrives when it comes to arts festivals and are delighted to be back here this year after two years away from the competition. Let's hope we haven't forgotten how to put one on a good on show. So this year we have a number of other, no, a number of new get members taking part and also some golden oldies in there and it's our last chance to take part in this great competition. Our show is a light-hearted comedy which aims to give our politicians a run for their money. Hopefully you will recognize some of them and get a laugh along the way. We hope you enjoy the show. Thin boy, young farmers, come on. Give it Oh, hello, Boris. Nice to see that big old blonde shaggy head of yours. 
number 10. The parties, the champagne, the cattle face. Yes, I'm born. The cattle face law, rather. <laughs> right, next. Good day, fella. All right, Sheila. It's Liz to you, hun hook. Yes, I know. It's just that Sheila's an Australian term for a woman. Oh, shut up, hun hook. Oh. If only there was a way we could get back into number 10. Steal back the key. All right, love. What? What are you looking at, geezer? <laughs> yeah. What are you looking at? Is that a wig, mate? Oh. Oh. Would you chaps know anything about breaking in entry? Oh. We are recruiting. One thing we're good at, and that's breaking in. Yeah. What do you think, Tim? I always wanted a job. Liz! No, Liz, no. Um, I, I, I'm not sure. Go on, love. Take a chance. <laughs> Change your mind. I'll be first in line. But the am still free. Number 10 Downing Street was a banger! <laughs> I bet you played some club COVID classics! Huh? And Hancock! What do you was all over that paper for curtain that bed? <laughs> what? I wiped it off of that window! Wait, go on, Chuckle. The plan is we break into number 10 and turn over, turn over. We steal the key! Well, what do you need us for? So, the pie's on, then what? The key is located on the third floor. Ooh. It's in a glass jar. The only problem is, it has heat sensitive flooring. Could you not just turn it off, mate? <laughs> Smart ass, the curve changes with every PM. Yes, but if you don't touch the floor with anything warm, the alarm won't go off. Right, let's get going then. There might even be some fit first for you to ever look at. <laughs> the first rule of breaking in is getting on the appropriate gear. We need to get you changed. <laughs> yeah, try this. <laughs> One man, one goal. One mission, one heart, one soul. Just one solution, one flash of light. Yeah, one God, one vision, one flesh, one vote, one true religion, one. Force. 
voice, one hope, one real decision. Whoa, 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 give me one vision. inside again. <laughs> My ass hasn't been right for years. <laughs>
them stutters about. <laughs> yeah. We'll go pick a lock. Okay. <laughs> oh, this looks like a tricky one, mate. Tricky's my middle name, mate. I thought it was Derek. Yeah. <laughs> it is.
Let us once again give it to Finn Young Farmers. Finn Boy Young Farmers. Well done. Super. Right, I'm not going to hold you back. Remember, I was telling you about that interval and you get the free drinks and free nibbles? Go for it. We'll see you all after the break. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>